Hi guys, I'm so happy to see you again this week. I'm Sarah, if you're new here, and I hope you enjoy this video. What do you guys think of these? I know I applied them pretty badly, but hey, nail check, hello. This is my first time ever using these guys. These are Dashing Diva Gloss Nails, and they're basically gel strips. You stick them straight onto your nail, and they literally have been staying so well, guys. Just doing literally everything with them, and they're not even budging. Like, I'm so impressed right now. I've always been the type of person who wants to just kind of, like, do things on my own and figure them out myself. I don't want to be paying people for stuff that I can do my own, on my own, and I just feel like I can learn anything if I put enough time into it and try hard enough and look up enough information on it and whatever. It's kind of hard to explain, but... I decided that I was going to do my own newborn photo shoot for my son. With my daughter, I never really got any. It's kind of sad because we don't really have like any like cute, like well done, well developed photos of her as a newborn. So this time I was like, okay, we're going to put in the extra time and effort and get that done. So I actually did four different photo shoots. Almost everything was off of Amazon. The other things that were in the video is just stuff I had at home. You will see I did two of these shoots are kind of like Christmassy related, but you can always alter them to what you want them to be. So hopefully this gives you at least um, some type of idea or like some visual. I was going to do a few other photo shoots with him. I had like a few extra things that I bought, like some of those like newborn wraps and stuff that they have. You see them done everywhere, like by professionals, but honestly, if you just look up YouTube videos, guys, you can learn how to wrap your child on your own. Literally, like I could have done it by myself, I just never had time. And then by the time that I ended up doing more photos of him, he was kind of already too big. Newborn photos ideally should be done by two to three weeks old. Okay, so my son is already like five weeks old almost. He's going to be five weeks tomorrow. So he's already like at the stage where he's just going to like, he wants to keep his eyes open. He won't even sleep anymore. When I'm doing them, like you'll see in the last two shoots, he wouldn't even close his eyes. He was just like staring at the camera like, what is that? You know, because they develop extremely fast and they only remain in that little frog position where like they like put their legs up and kind of like keep all curled because they don't realize they have extra space yet. That only lasts up until like two to three weeks old. So that is the best and ideal time to get photo shoots done. So you can start as soon as you feel up to it. The reason I kind of didn't have enough time to finish doing the other ones is because he was born literally like two weeks before Christmas and it was just in an insane time. It was so crazy, busy, just obviously you guys can imagine. And I also do have a one year old, she's one and a half. And now let's get started. Um, I will show you guys clips of what was going on and then I will show you the photos at the end but I will link the Amazon links below all the ones that I can find and I will try to label them as best I can so you guys can know which is which basically but if you just shop around you can find a lot of different props and fabrics and like just cute stuff accessories anything that you're looking for you can find them like there's a lot more cute options for girls honestly they have like little fairy wings like angel wings and stuff like that like in like, all these really cute things and they also do sell like pillows cushions that like can help you pose the baby better so you can definitely invest in those i was just trying to do best i could for as cheap as possible Let's get into this video. So the first photo shoot that I did was called Santa Baby, literally, because um, he was in a Santa outfit and I kind of did like a Santa cookies and milk thing. So literally, we were on our hardwood floor outside. I turned up the heater and made sure he was like super warm. If you can see here, these are literally the mini Chips Ahoy cookies on a little plate. This was a shot glass, like an espresso mug that I put milk into. And this little mini bed was also from Amazon and so was the like little fur you see on the bed. Um, I padded a bunch of like stuff underneath there so he's like more elevated. That pillow that he's laying on is literally a towel that I rolled up. And his outfit was also from Amazon, guys. And I just put little Christmas lights all around. That's all it was. Like, and then I just put out my light. You can obviously alter the lighting. If you want like a dim photo shoot that's like cute and just like he's sleeping and whatever, you can do that type of style. And we did like several different poses. I couldn't film all of them. I was really trying to rush because he hated the bed. This bed off of Amazon, I want to tell you guys, it is so, so small. 
okay? Like, my baby was literally probably three days old when I laid him into it, and he could barely fit. Like, his head was hitting the end, and if you could see, his feet, like, were never fully on the bed because they wouldn't fit. So I try to make it look, like, normal and cute and whatever, but it's literally, it was super small. Maybe shop around for some few different options, but it ended up working out for me, but you have to be careful, and... I definitely would recommend reading the reviews and knowing what time you're gonna like do the photo shoot because people are also saying that this Santa outfit wasn't fitting their babies, but they I think they were trying to do the photo shoot like when the baby was like over like a month old. Here are some of the pictures that came out. I thought they were super cute. Like these are this one photo is literally on my lock screen now because I'm just obsessed. It's so cute. beginner style if you're like there's no way i can do these crazy poses or wrap up my newborn in this type of way or do this or this or this like this one could definitely be for you because you can do this one literally for all like the backgrounds that you're seeing like i basically use mostly random stuff for my house i have this fluffy blanket on the ground i bought that little brown cover thing from amazon i was using the ring light for everything so if you can see here like he's literally swaddled up underneath this little blanket thing so he was covered but people couldn't tell like i just made sure it was covered up so nobody could see and he just had like this i just did the little hat i tried to make him hold a candy cane it did not work out like he just would not he was a little too small because you'll see in the next photo shoot that i show you he held a little teddy bear and it ended up kind of working out so i guess it depends what type of photo shoots you're doing um you can alter how like old the per baby is kind of like think it through like if you want them to hold something i would say wait a little bit like a few more weeks it's like if you want them to be sleeping and stuff you got to do those really early just kept switching things up until i liked it taking a few photos seeing if i was happy with it <laughs> problem with newborn photo shoots guys is you need to work very quickly you don't know you might have like five seconds before the baby starts crying especially in that santa one he literally would not like stop crying like he'd be calm for like a few seconds and then just keep crying again like because he hated it so much it was so uncomfortable for him but like i'm not gonna lie no regrets guys that photo shoot came out so good and it was so cute it's probably my favorite one that i did um there's like certain things you can do that can help like you could bring sound machine or like one of those baby shisher things definitely have like a pacifier if they take that and help them calm down between photos i guess you could say or between, between outfit changes or whatever and definitely make sure they're just like warm and comfortable and keep checking on them don't be putting them into any crazy positions where like they are gonna break their necks or something like please be careful like you don't need to break your kid for a photo like just take it easy you could make cute photos happen without risking people's lives okay so this next photo shoot that i did was basically supposed to be like a sleepy cute shoot and the baby had like a little hat and like a little bear to hold and i was gonna make it like all cute like with the blinky and just like make them all sleepy sleepy and cute yeah but this man wouldn't close his eyes so let me just show you guys what i ended up with it was not bad some of them turned out really well like, you gotta kind of know that you might only get a few photos that are good, but that's okay. At least you have a few, right? So once again, I just used literally random blankets for my house. And here he is. I put him up on a big, white, fluffy pillow. I wanted everything to be super white in this photo shoot. Um, I wish I had, like, more white things, but I literally don't even have, like, a white sheet I can use. So we worked the best with what he had. I kept giving him the password because he was getting, like, super cranky. So I just put on his bonnet for him. I wrapped him up underneath and made sure he was super warm. See, this is totally can work for a girl too, guys. You can definitely do whatever you want. And I kind of tried to make him hold the teddy bear. So the photos actually came out like not bad. Like I said, I just wish I had a better like background to use. You just got to think about what angles you're using while you're taking the photos. Because certain angles will kind of like make the messy background disappear. I don't know how to say. Make it less noticeable and stuff. So yeah, these are how these turned out, guys. I love them, like they're so white, he just looks so like innocent and sweet in this one, like I think it's such a cute little photo shoot, like I was a little worried that might look a little girly at first, but then I was like, you know what, like whatever, this is so cute, and I love it, so. Okay guys, so now we're on to the last shoot, and it's more like 
boyish, I guess. It's basically him wearing a bow tie and a little one of those grandpa hats. I don't know what they're called. I just call them grandpa hats because my grandpa used to always wear them. Okay, so here he is. He's literally just in his diaper. I know, like you gotta just pump up the heat, guys, in the house. He's literally in a basket that I have from a long time ago. He's crying right now, but all he needed was the pacifier to calm down, and then I kind of covered him up so he's warm. And that's literally it, guys. We literally just sat on our hardwood floor and took photos. There's really not much to it, and it they turned out so cute for such a simple thing. Like, literally, this hat and bow tie set cost probably, like, $12 or something like that. I literally just stuffed the basket with a bunch of, like, random pillows or whatever to take up all the space. And then on the top, I just put, like, the soft white blanket that I've been using for this entire time. That is basically it guys. So that is how I did four different photo shoots for my son on a really low budget and they turned out very decent and pretty professional looking to be honest with you. I've gotten so many compliments anytime I've posted them. People have been texting me saying, oh, this is so cute and like just complimenting the photos. I'm very happy and very satisfied with how they came out. So just know that you guys are capable of a lot of things. You might think that things are hard and you need to go pay professional to do them. You don't. You could literally do anything at home, like literally anything. And honestly, YouTube guys is your best friend. YouTube or even TikTok, for real, for real guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for sticking around and for being here guys. It would mean so much to me if you guys hit that subscribe button. It's literally free, but it makes me happy. So please consider. And I hope I see you next week. I'm honestly so excited for this year, this new year. It's going to be wonderful, guys. This is our year. Like, this is my year. I'm telling you guys, this is my year. Just know. Just be ready. Prepare for big things. Prepare to see me succeed, guys, because this is my year. And I'm proclaiming it right now. Don't forget to breathe. Don't forget to drink water. Don't forget to do nice things for yourself. And just do something that makes you happy, guys, okay? I am about to go get iced coffee. You know why? Because it makes me happy. So I'm going right now as soon as I finish this video. You're capable of hard things. You're capable of a lot of things. And you should know that you're doing a great job, okay? So have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful productive week. And I better see you here next week because I ain't playing. Hope you tried these photo shoots, guys. And if you do, let me know down below or send me photos. And thank you. Love you so much. Bye.